Okay, so today we're going to see how we can take the dimension measurements of circular walls like this one. So right here I have a circular house, so we're going to see how I take the measurements here. Okay, for that I'm just going to open up my outflow plan view for my first floor or ground floor, whatever you want to call it, based on where you are situated in. Okay, so what I do is I'll go to the NSA tab and then I'm going to select align dimension even though that's not what I'm going to use and then here in the dimension I'm going to choose the arc length so it's a little bit tricky how to use the arc length so I'm just going to go with the uh, wall faces option right here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the wall center line of one of the walls you can see if I hover over there okay. Okay, so if I hover over there, you can see that it's actually showing the center line. So I'm just going to select the center line. Once you select the center line, you can see uh, this sort of a symbol that says that means that it can't go zero. But what you can do is you have to specify the beginning of the wall or the beginning of the arc length. So you go there, and I know my beginning of the wall is somewhere right over here. And if you uh, move your cursor right over there, you can see that it's sliding up. So click on the start, here you go. Now find the end of the wall, which I know to be here. Now click it again, and here you will have your arc link. You can either put it inside of your wall or outside of your wall, the way you like it. I'm putting it outside of my wall. There you go, it's done. So just to uh, do it again, to show you how I did it once more here, I'm selecting the center line. You can select somewhere else if you like. Now I'm going to one end, select it, and then I'm going to the other end, select it, and now I can either put the dimension outside or inside, however I like. Okay, so this is how you can measure a curved wall or an arc wall or a circular wall for a circular structure uh, like this one. Alright, so that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got to learn something new.